So what is the etiopathogenesis and spread? As we already know, the most common etiological agent is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Rarely, the infection can also be caused by mycobacterium bovis and sometimes similar infection can be produced by non-tubercular bacteria like mycobacterium avium and mycobacterium intracellulare. Infection by these two organisms are commonly seen in HIV positive children. HIV positive children can have mycobacterium tuberculosis also, but these infections, these two organisms are not that common in immunocompetent children. What is the mode of spread? The, it is rarely primary, mostly abdominal tuberculosis is found to be secondary. So what are the modes of spread? Modes of spread can be multiple. Commonly it can occur through hematogenous route. In hematogenous route there will be a primary focus in the lungs. From there it will spread via blood to the GIT. This is one route. Second route is through the auto ingestion of infected sputum in a patient with open or cavitary tuberculosis. Suppose there is a patient, usually a older children or adolescents, many times adults, uh, they have pulmonary tuberculosis. This pulmonary tuberculosis is in the form of open or cavitary tuberculosis. So their sputum will be filled with these organisms. So when they will swallow their own uh, sputum and it goes into the GIT, it will cause seeding of the GIT producing abdominal tuberculosis. So the second is auto digestion of infected sputum. First was hematogenous. Thirdly, it can occur through direct contiguous spread. Direct contiguous spread. For example, there is there is some retroperitoneal organ. Suppose there is a kidney which is involved, some retroperitoneal part of the ureter is involved and from there any uh, abdominal structure coming into contact with that, there can be direct seeding. It is a rare form but it is described in the books. And fourth mechanism is through the mediastinal infected lymph nodes. They can spread the disease to esophagus and sometimes even the proximal stomach. So these are the major routes of spread in the secondary form. Primary form is usually seen when there is ingestion of bacteria of basically that is more commonly seen in cases of mycobacterium bovis. But mycobacterium tuberculosis, the common spread, these are the modes of spread that we find.